Well, as we begin this week, threatening weather is absent across most of the country this week ahead, which is especially good news for Iowa farm families and businesses cleaning up after that storm was just a week ago today. Agronomists, by the way, are assessing if any of that flattened corn in Iowa is far enough along that perhaps it's salvageable for silage. We'll keep an eye on that. And outside of our farm broadcaster friends, the Iowa damage is not getting a lot of media attention. We'd look for December corn to hold 325 this week and November soybeans holding 885 if selling appears. Now the top end looks very close to where we are at current levels in our view. This is the bottom line report. Hey, don't let up hanging those dust bags this summer. Remember to ask for Python livestock insecticide dust from Whitex. It controls numerous livestock pests, including flies, ticks, and lice. It's easy to use, and it's approved for lactating and non-lactating cattle, sheep, goats, and horses as well from Whitex. Well, live cattle futures have really shown us their stability of late. Economic data numbers are mostly positive, and the S&P 500 and NASDAQ will continue to press toward all-time record highs. That will help consumer confidence, we think, and thus consumer spending. That includes the meat counter. And that's the bottom line. I'm Mark Oppold, wishing you a profitable day.